Oh, hi, that's my bra. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's full of flowers. in Palooza Party. It's your girl Gigi and you are watching Anime Palooza. Today it's time for my October anime merch haul. This is all the stuff I bought in the month of October or rather that got shipped to me in the month of October that's not from Ami Ami. So I have some Tokyo Otaku Mode stuff. I got some stuff from Hot Topic. Uh, CD Japan. I have some nice figures in here. A lot of this stuff I haven't even seen yet. So let's get our unboxing on. The first things that I got that made me pay EMS shipping for a very small box were these Oudapri mini posters. Um, so here's the Quartet Night one. And I'll look at the second in a second to see like what set these are from. But they're clear and they're bigger than I thought they would be, but I thought they would be, uh, you know, like able to be folded. <laughs> and then here is the starish one. They say love and music. These guys are like going to the beach or something. I don't know. Super cute. Um, they are kind of see-through, which is weird, but oops, did I just get lipstick on my shirt? But they're still cute. I don't know where I'm going to put these. I need to like have a white background behind them. But they shipped these flat, which made me get a huge box, which made me pay EMS shipping for like this and two other small things, which you'll see in a minute. But I think these are from the game. Like it's got the game weird CGI artwork on there that I don't really like, but they're still cute. And they were cheap. Here is a mini clear file that I got from Tom. I really love this design a lot. They give these for free in your orders. And then on a quest to actually complete the set of Idolish 7 clear files that you've seen before, this is the Momo clear file that goes with this set and they were sold out of the Yuki. I need the Yuki that matches this. So if anybody knows where I, oh my God, he's wearing red nail polish. What a baller. If anybody knows where I can find the Yuki one that matches this, please let me know so I can buy him. I'm kicking myself that I just didn't buy all of them. Like I left out Revale because I didn't know who Revale were and now I need Revale. <laughs> I still don't know who they are though. Okay this I actually won off to Reba. Um, thank you to the person on Twitter who said I just won three of these towels. Like usually I don't play for flat things because they're really hard to win um, but these were really easy to win. Like they positioned them in a way where they just flipped over. So this is from the Prince of Tennis Rising Beat game. This is Hiote or from Hiote. It's uh, Keigo Ator Atobe. He's fucking cute. And this is a towel and I won this off to Reba, so it was free. So let's open it. This is, it was supposed to be like a hundred centimeters or something. And I literally in one play won this. It just flipped over. So this is not a towel that you can like use to dry anything. This feels like a microfiber. I'm pretty sure it's not though. I think you're just supposed to like hang this. <laughs> but here it is. Um, it's really kind of big. Um, and it's the Prince of Tennis game, which has not come over here in the United States that I'm aware of because if it has, I probably would be playing it. I think it's some kind of rhythm game. This is really cute and I like it and it was free and that's the best part. And is this guy naked? No, you can see his leg. It's a big thigh, dude. <laughs> okay, so these were the other two things I got from Tokyo Otaku Mode that are clearly very small and I shouldn't have had to pay all that shipping for it. So I got like the last two Idolish 7 acrylic stands that they had. This one is Riku and Iori and you're supposed to pop them out of this top part and then stand them on the thing that's down at the bottom. And then I got Ryunosuke, Nagi, Yamato, and Gaku, which again is a very weird group of people but I'm not complaining because it's like all of my best boys put together. Yes, yes, and Nagi is winking. So these also were very cheap, um, but they don't have these anymore. These came from Pash. Here's another clear file from Tom. It's the same one that I just showed you. And then from Hot Topic, I got five of the Sailor Moon Funko uh, vinyl blind box things. Um, these are the uh, Hot Topic exclusive ones, which have different figures in them than like regular ones. So here in lies the dilemma. Okay, so I bought five. These were like eight dollars a piece, but I got them on sale. So a lot of these have one in six chances. So Sailor Moon, you have a one in chance, a one in six chance of getting. Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, one in six, all of those. 
Okay, then you have 1 in 12. So Mars is 1 in 12, Uranus is 1 in 12, then you have a 1 in 24, which is Luna and Chibi Moon. Then you have 1 in 36, which is an exclusive, it's like Super Sailor Moon. And then you have 1 in 72, which is Artemis and uh, Diana, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. So I bought five and you'd think with those odds at least I'd get all of the ones that are one in six and I didn't. Oh actually I only bought four this time. It must be the other box where I bought five. I bought more of these later. Um, so I ended up getting doubles and I got, no I did buy five maybe, I don't know. Well I ended up with two Jupiters, two Mercuries, and a Venus. So I was like come on, I was just pulling for the Haruka and I could not get a Haruka. I didn't even get a Sailor Moon who's one in six but I got two Jupiters. So here is what she looks like with her little ponytail. And this one has a paint flaw. So I got a Jupiter with a paint flaw. Oh no, here's the other. I did get five in this set. I got two Mercuries, who you guys know is my least favorite inner. Sorry, Mercury. So two of her and a Venus, who is my favorite inner. But she's also like a one in six. So I was like, okay. So I didn't pull a Sailor Moon. Like, I'm so angry because I got two doubles, like, out of five. Like, I would think I would get all of the one in sixes out of there. But no, no, I got, I did not have good luck with these Funko Pop Mystery Minis. Spoiler, in November I bought more of them. Here fam, here is the glory button. This is the Rin and Sosuke button that was a gift with purchase for buying the free movie box set from Right Stuff. Fuck yes. I did just spend $71 on some DVDs for a button. I don't care. You live your life, I'll live mine. I'm living my best life. <laughs> this is the other thing I bought from Hot Topic. So this is, I can't believe they had this and that it was on sale. The, like I bought this with some kind of sale. I think like 30% off. This is a Hiei Artifacts J Kotobukiya figure. He matches my Karama. They did have more of these, but like when I, uh, after I bought this one and then they had the hot cash sale and I was going to buy another one, but they weren't included in the hot cash sale. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to get him. So this is the Hiei that matches my Karama, who is my second best Yu Yu Hakusho boy. He comes with two faces and a bunch of different arms and like a whip and like these black flames and stuff. Like he is freaking badass. Um, and actually at a comparable price to what I paid importing the Karama from Japan. I think actually this one was a little less because I got free shipping too. So who knows guys, sometimes Hot Topic actually carries real Japanese products in their stores. I know they carry some of the Proplica Sailor Moon stuff. Those are way overpriced though. But yeah, I fucking got a scale Hiei, like an Artifacts J. Like those are really expensive. So I was super excited. And then these are some of the things that I ordered from CD Japan. One of these was actually supposed to be in a different haul, but I guess I misplaced it. So it's in this one now. So let's go through my Udapri. <laughs> Bishi Boy CDs. Uh, the first one is the cross unit from Udapri Revolutions of Ren, Sho, and Cecil. This is Code TVU. This is the Code TVU CD and it comes with um, Code TVU, Green Ambition, what is the name of the show solo, and Mellow Choo Choo. The show solo is like the one that's not Let's Go Fight but sounds exactly like Let's Go Fight. And it's a Japanese title because I can't read it. It does also come with the instrumentals of all these songs. Code TVU does not have background vocals. The Ren song does. The Cecil song does. The show song does not. So I don't know where, <laughs> like why they decide to put background vocals on some of the instrumentals and some of them not, but I like them much better when there's no background vocals. The next one I got because this song is bomb is the I Idol song one. This is from the second game, or no, this is from Udapri Revolution. Sorry, this is from Udapri Revolution. So it has Innocent Wind on here and another song whose name I don't know. And it's entirely in Japanese and it's very weird. It sounds very robotic. Um, actually, this is from the second team, but it is from Revolutions because it's got Innocent Wind on here. 
Um, and both the songs have instrumental tracks with no background vocals on them. I'm saying this in case you guys want to buy these and you want to use them as background music for whatever you need them for because the karaoke background tracks and some of these are really distracting. The next thing I got is the Mezzo Ame, the Rain CD from Idolish 7, which is um, Sogo and Tamaki. This is the ending song in the anime that made me fucking bawl my eyes out. And this CD is really beautiful. None of these have pictures on the inside, by the way. It is just lyrics. Look at how beautiful and purple this CD is with the diamonds and shiny. It's very nice. Um, so this has Ame on here and another song. It's like kind of like a mid-tempo song. It's not my favorite thing. Um, both of the instrumentals do not have background vocals. Then I got this Heaven CD, which is Heaven's Inferno. Um, and so this and the Heaven Sky were the only ones I could find. Where can I buy the Let's Call Heaven's dun 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 -a song? Where can I buy that song? I think this one came with a card. That's the only Heaven's one that I'm missing, so I need it. Um, here's the CD. It is kind of blinding, but it's just got like a weird pattern on it. And then it comes with like a sticker that matches the front of it. This does have a song called Heavenly Parade on there. Uh, and instrumentals of both. None of the instrumentals have background vocals. I got this Quartet Night CD, which has God Star on it, which is a song from Legend Star. It also has Kizuna on it, which is the reason why I bought this in the first place. Um, neither one have background vocals on the instrumentals. This is a really cool looking CD that will also blind you, but it's got stripes on it. And then this one came with a card too, I think. Yeah, it did. This one came with a sticker too. This one was worth all the money in the world because um, it proved to me that God Star is not as good as it should be because the instrumental is kind of cheap and sounds like it belongs in a Casio keyboard. And then the last thing I got from CD Japan in this haul is the Legend Star duet idol song of Otoya and Aichi, which means I bought next door. Ugh, end me. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. Of course, this is the limited edition with the limited edition packaging. It comes with the buttons, which are nestled very nicely in this cardboard thing with the tape still on them. Thank you. And then here's the CD. Look at how uncomfortable Atoya looks in this, guys. Look at how uncomfortable. And then the back is just red. Uh, the inside is white and red. And the other songs that come on this are Brilliant Days from Atoya, which I swear to God I've heard before. Like most of the songs that are solos in these, I they've never I've never heard them. But I think I've heard Brilliant Days before. And then Aichi comes with State of Perfection, which is weird. Not what I would expect from Aichi, but okay. But next door though. Oh my god. And none of the none of the songs have background vocals. And then the last thing is this figure, which I pre-ordered from Tom, which I thought I lost. It says on ice on the top of the box. Wow. Uh, very nicely they put tissue paper so I wouldn't cut through it. I'm excited for this one. Too. This is the Yuri Plasetsky gem figure. So the set is now complete. Wow, this is actually the nicest looking figure in this whole series. How big is his butt though? Not very big. His legs are super long. So this is a Yuri Pilsetsky gem figure and it came with the cat. It came with Pacha. I got all the other ones that had the bonuses in them so I had to keep it going. Um, and this is from the set with Yuri with the jacked up face and Big Butt Victor. So now I have them all. The set is complete. All the bonuses are complete. All their pets are here. He's really nice. He he actually might be the nicest one out of this set. And like this outfit is just kind of very simple. But you know what? It, it works. He looks very mature. It's a very mature Yurio. And I like him. Yeah. He is now beaten Big Butt Victor for the nicest Yuri on Ice figure I have.
And that was everything for my October anime merch haul. Let me know what you thought about anything that I got down in the comments below. So what have you bought anime related from Hot Topic lately? They seem to be having a lot of stuff. Let me know and we'll have a little party down in the comments. If you like what I do and you want to buy me a drink, my Ko-Fi links in the down bar. If you want to send me something to unbox for this channel, my P.O. Box is down there as well. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. As always, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, my anime list, or my figure collection. My username's Anime Palooza at those places. And until next time, love your faces.